Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. In the last episode, we finished up the bottom of the well after a couple of funny freakouts. And in this episode, we are here at the ancient castle of Ikata. My favorite place in this game. I love the music here and the overall atmosphere, which we will see as we step inside. Now, this is the introduction of Redeads. We put on the Gibdo mask. Look at this. We can see that when we are not around, Redeads dance. Who would have thought? Yeah. You can just kill them by a few quick spin attacks, and they tend to drop a lot of money, though. So if you want to get a lot of money, you can do this, though. But there is a much better way of making money, though, that I will be using later on. And we have full health again. Very nice. Starting off, let's use a fire arrow. And cool, I didn't miss. I'm getting better. I'm getting better at simple aiming that eight-year-olds were able to master. Hoorah. Okay. Actually, I don't think that's quite the way that we want to go. We want to use our fire arrow on this. So let's hit it. And I, my arrow did not even hit the eye switch at all. It just barely hit the eye. Hey, that's an eye switch and an eye switch. Get it? Because it's an eye and it's ice. Uh, so, over here we got, lo and behold, source material. Reuse source material from the forest temple. What we want to do is we want to get on this grid. We want to hurry up and get into our Deku form. What do you know? The Deku form actually getting used outside of Southern Swamp. I know, something that we haven't seen since Snowhead Temple in like two rooms. Let's go down here. And what do you know? A little tiny plant can push up this gigantic fiery platform. Defies all logic. It's Nintendo logic. Let's go ahead and press this. Very nice. And I'm going to use my hookshot. up again and hit it or hit nothing that works too and then this room this room is irritating to say the least get this and you can see platforms that you could not see otherwise that are in this area of course they're made of ice this so in one room you have whoa you have link not jumping you have ice physics you have switches to press you have locked doors, and you have mines in the air, and then you gotta fly around these mines with the Deku flowers. Yeah, fun times. And you have these assholes to deal with. There I go saying assholes again. Let's do that, because we cannot have two magic consuming items working at the same time, so unfortunately they, we have that to deal with. Um, come on. What do we got here? That, okay, very nice. Or as nice as can be. Uh, anything up there? Okay, no Sculptula. Let's just do a rolling jump there. Hey, we didn't have to use the Deku flowers, and we avoided the mines completely. Okay, so we didn't have nearly as many bad things as I was saying. Oh, no, 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 don't jinx me, don't jinx me! I've been jinx. I... Okay, what happened there? I paused, and then all of a sudden, this the skull had its jaw on the camera. And in here, we go outside. Now, I can't really remember exactly where it is. What do you got to say, Tattle? I can't see it, but I sense there's a thirst for blood looming around us. Don't you have a mask that can summon the unseen? Yes, if we have a Gato mask around when Tattle says that, we will summon that. Now, I don't remember which pillar it's on, though, but on one of these pillars, there's, for some odd reason, a paper airplane sitting on it, which is really out of place given the architecture and the time that this thing was obviously constructed. We go around over here. We have a Gwei over there that we can avoid. There is a block that has a tongue on it. Same architecture that we saw on the way in here. Ah, there it is. If you look down there, you can see for some odd reason there is a paper airplane on there. Don't know why that's there, but it is. Maybe Skull Kid left it behind, because Skull Kid apparently put the curse on this castle. Alright, well actually he put it on the temple, though, that we're here at the castle to get the instructions on how to go to it, but same thing. So, use our Deku form. Go over here. And we are too light to step on the switch, even though we have Cell Wall that but that isn't all we have to do out here if you notice there is a switch over there and there's some fire so let's fly over there and get him out where'd it go okay fine I'll take it it like 
like it like phased down through the floor, and there it is again. Okay. No! I'll be right back. There you go. I slayed the beast that kept me from accomplishing my goal. There we go. So, turn into a Deku. Actually, no, don't turn into a Deku quite yet. What we're gonna do is we're gonna hit this. I said we're gonna hit this. And I just noticed the thing is Majora's Mask on the bottom uh, is a pattern. That's kind of cool. Uh, can I hop over there? Yes, I can. Very nice. Okay, so quickly, over here. No. I said quickly. Okay, there. We have to move fast here because we're under a time limit because that switch is not going to last forever. We do this, and very nice. We've made it. And up here we have a piece of heart. All right, we assembled a new heart container. We're up to 14 hearts. Very, very cool. But we got no choice to jump down here. So let's do just that now that we've hit that switch and open up the ceiling on the other end of the castle. And back on the inside, we use our fire arrows once more, hit that ice switch. Slash ice switch. And in here. We go over here. Ah! Unintentional kill on something that scared me. That is a wall master. Wall masters lunge at you from the wall, and they also split into three when they're killed. So. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take getting paid for that. I like getting paid to kill wall masters. Very nice. Now, and here is quite possibly one of my favorite things in the game. This is something I really like. Uh, you can also alternatively put on the captain's hat to fool the uh, to fool the uh, redeads. We're gonna put it on in. Look at that! We got that guy twirling. We got these guys doing like a breaststroke dance, and then we got this guy over here. Look, at, he's doing like a Russian folk dance. He's all over there, he's going like, Moscow, Moscow, I don't know the frickin' words, I don't know the frickin' words, ah ha 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 ha, hey, Moscow, Moscow, I don't know the frickin' words, I don't know the frickin' words, ah ha ha ha, hey! Ha ha! Look at that, they just keep on dancing, they don't even care. But what's really nice is we can actually aim our, well, I guess we can from this distance though, but normally you can aim your mirror shield for them and they instantly die. But yeah, that is the coolest thing here. So we got a Russian undead. How nice. That is awesome. Check it out! Look at this ugly mug who somehow became Toucan Sam in the other half of the timeline. It's Wizrobe. This Wizrobe, however, is a bit different, though, but we're going to fight him the same way. We're going to be a Goron during this, and we're just going to roll into him. Now, if you look down there in the corner, you can see the uh, dot on the map that shows where he's going to be. That is something I did not know prior to the LP. You guys taught me about that. Very nice. And he is going to appear over here. Punch him again. This one's robe is different, though. Like I said, he shoots fire. So he's going to be a bit of a different fight than last time. So more or less he's the same. It just is kind of a cosmetic change. But hey, maybe we'll get to see his attack if we want. Maybe I'll just kick his ass that hard. Ooh -ha! Punched in the kneecaps. And now he's going to split it up into four. And we got to find the real one. Of course, the red dot strategy works the same. Oh my god, did he appear like next to me? Oh no! Okay, we get to see his attack. And, okay. Ah! Immune to lava, but not immune to fire. Makes perfect sense. Ah, oh, I was gonna hit him with my butt. Hey buddy, how's it go? Honestly? If you use the Goron strategy, I kind of find this to be the easiest one because it's just four. You know, I find this to be easier than the second time. Found, look at his mouth, he's like, <laughs> I find this to be like the tied for the easiest though because he just, you know, he doesn't do stuff in. Let's put on the captain's hat before they. Oh my god! Duel! Look at that! Dual Russian folk dancers. That's amazing, man. Uh, that is video thumbnail worthy. How I wish that that gets to be the thumbnail. Oh, man. Uh, get, get around the thing. Okay, there we go. Very nice. So we're going to head up here. Look at this. And we can see that block. 
now what we want to do is, this is where this area gets jerkish. Remember that powder keg that I told you you should get? Rocks are cracked. Stuff we always miss. When have we ever missed a crack? Yeah, whatever. Now, a regular bomb will not blow this up. You've got to have a powder keg if you want to blow this up. I know, it's jerkish. Especially since it's more cracked than a lot of the stuff that we've seen that we can blow up with a regular bomb. But hey, it doesn't work. Let's punch the, punch the bird in the face. There we go. Why do I always blow myself up with these stupid powder kegs? So we go down here and... Hey buddy, how's it going? Oh! Crap, sorry, I didn't mean to kill you! Oh! I didn't mean to kill you! I didn't mean to kill- EVERYTHING I APOLOGIZE TO DIES! That was necessary because if we shine our light on that... We get that. Now... What we want to do in here... We want to equip our fire arrows... Our captain's hat... And our Bremen mask. All cool stuff we can do. So let's go in here. In case you haven't guessed by all these pots that give us arrows and magic and health, I bet you can tell what's coming up. We're fighting Ward again! No, we're not. Put on the captain's hat. Oh, insolent one who has brought un the unthinkable into a land as dark as Ikana. My servants have fallen namelessly before the light that guides you. However, the darkness in which those, my servants lie after all fleeting. You shall see with your own eyes just what kind of thing true darkness really is. targeting methods, the unthinkable, what could possibly be the dark as this. Fortunately, these soldiers do not seem to have a bit do not seem to have a name. Tattle will not give us a name. If there is a name I will put it on screen though, but what we want to do is walk up to this king. Oh Kita! Is it not Captain Kita? But you're so TINY! I was nearly fooled by what you have done. So, he does not listen to us. He is the one zombie in this game that is not fooled by the captain's hat. What we can do alternatively, though, is if we pull out the Bremen mask and march with it, watch this. Do 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 yeah, they will just march around. And what you can do is, while they're tiptoeing like ballerinas, click and take it off and POW! Haha! <laughs> That's not exactly what you gotta do, though. What you're supposed to do is, you get out your fire arrows, and you gotta shoot these sheets. You gotta shoot the sheet. Oh! Oh my god, he could take a curtain off of a wall! So what we gotta do is, we gotta fight his knights. We gotta put up our shield. Have them strike us. And then, strike him back immediately. And then he's down. When they're down, we gotta shine the light on them so that we burn them to a crisp. So here we got this guy over here. Ha! Nope, not quite. Got him. Okay, that was it. So now that we've taken care of that, let's shine the light on him. And he's done. Now. Seems the king is going to fight us himself. This guy just, this guy definitely fights his own battles. Stick with basic targeting methods while defending. He is a different rank than those other two lackeys, though. Okay. So. Come here. This guy is actually pretty tough. If you don't know what you're doing, he can be pretty challenging. 
What you want to do is the same thing as before. Use your shield. You can also hurt him with the mirror shield as well if he manages to ca if he manages to catch him off guard. But he's quite a bit stronger now. While he's doing this, there really isn't a way you can hit him as far as I know. His body turns invisible. And that head's flying around really fast. During this, I think it's best just to avoid him. Because if there is a way to hit him, it is very, very not easy to do. And stop chomping on my head! What do you think you are? You're... No, actually, he is kind of a stall child type guy. Okay, so that hit him. Okay, got him again. Got him again. Blocks the light with his shield because he's got a bigger shield. He's got like a kite shield. Okay, he's tried to use his ice breath on us. What are you, Blossom? Go! And crap, he's doing this attack. Get out of the way, 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 get out of the way. Odd thing is, his body can still hit you even though it's transparent. I guess transparent never meant can't hurt you. Get! Screw you! Okay, so we got hit a few times. Not bad. Yo! Now, when you are fighting him, when he's getting like, clearly low on health, you want to be sure that he's over close by the light. If he's too far away, it's going to cause you problems. So get over here. Get over here, buddy. Come on. Okay. Try to hit him towards the light, come on. Ah! Come on. Come on, he's got a lot more health than I remember, and he's doing this again. Seriously, dude. Okay, slash, 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 slash. Guns and Roses. Whoa! Uh, what the heck? Okay, camera. Thank you. Alright, now shine it on him when he's coming back. That'll hurt him. Alright, that took care of him. Now, quickly, while he's down, shine the light on him just like you did to his leg. Crap, he's too far away. Isn't he? No, he's not! Yes! You're blocking me. Get out of the way. I can still get him. Blocking you? The reason why he beat us is because you were so feeble. Don't blame this on me. What? Just try saying that again to my bony face. Feeble. 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 Shut up already. Girl, don't look at me. I was once called the best swordsman in all of Ikana. The greatest swordsman in all of Ikana? You feeble. Draw your weapon in your mouth, huh? Telling you to draw your sword. How? With your mouth, you idiot. <laughs> Will you stop? What fools? Haven't you begun to understand? Kingdom being ruined, less left in the state. Isn't it petty little battles like this that have caused it? Believing in your friends and embracing that belief by forgiving failure. These feelings have vanished from our hearts. It all happened after somebody thrust open the doors of that stone tower. You who bring light into darkness, I am king of Ikana Kingdom. Egos do Ikana. The spellbinding that had been cast upon us was broken by that light which you carry. To return the true light to this land, you must seal the doors of Stone Tower, where the winds of darkness blow through. But Stone Tower is an impenetrable stronghold. Hundreds of soldiers from my kingdom would not even be able to topple it. It is far too reckless for one to take on such a challenge. And so, I grant you a soldier who has no heart, one who will not falter in the darkness.
DON'T DROWN! You learn the Elegy of Emptiness. It is a mystical song that it allows you to shed a shell shaped in your current image. By playing the song while wearing masks to assume different forms, you'll be able to leave into four empty shells, one of each form. This soldier who has no heart is your twin image, a shell of yourself, the one you shed when, the song, when your song commands it. On my kingdom, shine the light of justice. Now, an interesting bit of trivia about this thing. That face is actually a caricature of Shigeru Miyamoto's face. Kind of makes sense, though, you know, because it's your shell. Anyway, though, on that very creepy note, I think we're about done here. Next time on The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, we are going to go get a few more things done before we reset time. And after resetting time, I think, is when we're going to try to topple the stone tower, okay? See you guys then. Sorry! Sorry, 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 sorry.